Aaron Taylor Johnson, my man Quicksilver, my man Kickass, is going to be Craven the Hunter in a solo movie. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Why do I say wow? I'm not saying wow for the solo movie aspect because that part, again, just like with the Sinister Six, concerns me. Are y'all making a solo movie maybe with Craven the Hunter as the main protagonist and Spider-Man still shows up? Like, if y'all just need to put Spider-Man in everything. I'm sorry. Like, it, it's I don't care how popular these characters are, these villains. They were only created to be antagonists for Spider-Man. That's it. That's it. And for those of you that are uh, maybe un unfamiliar with Craven, Craven is basically, um, he's like a big game hunter, this, this Russian uh, aristocrat. And he is, you know, uh, all, you know, he's got all this fame and attention and, you know, he, he's, he's very, very popular. And I mean, again, I don't know what they about to do with the movie, but, you know, at least in the comics, because he has hunted every single animal out there and he's, you know, accomplished all these feats or whatever, he's like, you know what? I need the next best challenge. And that's got to be Spider-Man. And they go they go at it. They go at it in the comics. And it's and it's good because, you know, it's a very interesting challenge for Spider-Man because this dude is trying to, like, hunt him and kill him. and. By the way, Craven also has like enhanced abilities. Like, I don't know how they're gonna spin it in the in the movie, but you know, he has like I forget if it was like a drug or something. It was something that basically gave him uh I, I don't want to say Black Panther like abilities, but it's kind of similar to that, you know. So he can hear, he can smell, he's a little faster, very strong, you know. So it, it's gonna be interesting if maybe this solo movie is gonna be like an origin, but I'm sitting here thinking like if you guys do this without Spider-Man, are you about to do what y'all did with Venom? Like, are y'all about to make Craven like the Tiger King or something? Because that's what I'm really worried about. I'm really worried that they're going to be like, ah, forget the source material. Let's make it a buddy cop movie, you know, or something like. Don't do Craven like that. And let me just tell you, if anybody's even remotely interested, or even if you have read the comics, Craven's best storyline is under the series called Craven's Last Hunt. I'm not going to give you the the spoiler of what happens, but what I will say is that was very heavy. That story is super 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 heavy and you don't want just anybody in that role and that is one of the main reasons why I am very happy that Aaron Taylor Johnson is taking on the role of Craven because you need an actor that can really do drama well. And if you've seen my man Aaron Taylor Johnson and other things, forget the Quicksilver stuff, forget Kick At, go watch his other stuff. Go to his IMDb, look at his other stuff. The man can act, like he can act, act. All he needs is the opportunity and the platform. And I believe this role can do that for him and surprise some people if they take it seriously hopefully they will i don't know how are y'all feeling about aaron taylor johnson quicksilver kick ass coming back as craven the hunter let me see what y'all thinking see of course you didn't see that coming i see what you did there thorn i see what you did there and i like it <laughs> i like it all right all right let's see uh derek says he's gonna be hunting the sinister six i can see that I can see that. Nah. <laughs> Stab to say he's going to break out the bad accent all over again. Hey, at least he, he, I mean, he's got some sort of accent. I don't know. Maybe they could work on it. I don't know. It didn't bother me too much. Uh, Joe should have played Craven. You know what? I wouldn't have been mad at that, but I think Aaron can outact Joe. Like, Joe would look more the part, maybe. Um, but don't sleep on don't sleep on uh on, on Aaron either because he's also pretty like he's in good shape, you know. And I'm pretty sure dude might you know buff him, you, you know, he might go on his little workout routine and buff up a little bit. Um, but he can act, he can act. I'm I'm trying to tell you, don't 
sleep on. Don't let Marvel fool you, okay, with those little appearances. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You know what? Like, if y'all are fans about Batman, I would say Craven is almost like he reminds me of Bane. Not the live action. I'm talking about from the comics. Like that one, you know, challenger that pushes the hero to the limit. That's Craven, in my opinion. So I, I, I'm, I hope they do it. I hope they don't do this. Don't go the Tiger King route. Don't make this no comedy. Sony, don't do this. Ooh, man. Um, Craven casting came out of nowhere. You know what? I feel like. And I don't know if Sony is this smart, but Marvel might be too. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up in Spider-Man 3. Only because Craven was one of the original Sinister Six, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, comic heads out there. But he was one of the original. So that I think it'd be kind of interesting if they put him in, you know, or maybe it's for the spinoff Sinister Six movie. I don't know. But we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, oh. Yes, thank you, Jagger. Nocturnal animals. That oh, what I say, bad animals. <laughs> Nocturnal animals. Go watch that. Uh, it's okay, but if you want to know at least a taste of what Aaron Taylor Johnson can do, he does a really good job. I was watching that movie and I didn't even know that was him in the movie. That's how good he is. That's how actors gotta be when you in another movie and you like, man, that was a who was that guy? That was Quicksilver. That was him. Like, that's how much he transformed. Thank you for that. Yes. Uh, my man is really, really good. So y'all don't want to miss that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see. Cedric Jackson. Could they be doing an Avengers-like formula for Spider-Man, um, but with villains leading to a Sinister Six movie against Spider-Man? Here's the thing. The next Spider-Man movie is going to be the last movie that is produced by Marvel Studios. Sony is doing their own separate Sony Marvel universe. Sony believes that they have enough notes from Kevin Foggy to take over the ship. They think that they can take the baton and do whatever they need to do to make the Sony Marvel universe successful. Now, with Marvel doing like the multiverse and everything, I think it's a... It's kind of a way for Marvel to be like, hey, look, we don't want the fans to attack y'all. So we just going to say that there's a multiverse and y'all universe counts. The Sony Marvel universe, it counts in some way, shape or form. Well, my concern, though, is when you ask about whether this is going to be an Avengers like formula, I think the bigger problem is the fact that they are stuck on formulas. What people don't always get is that when you try to copy Marvel's formula, you know, like we've seen DC try to copy the formula. We've seen uh, um, uh, 20th Century Fox when they had X-Men. They try to copy the formula and stuff. It doesn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work is because Marvel don't even follow their own formula, okay? So, for example, people will look at Phase 1 and Phase 2 of Marvel and be like, dang, Avengers made how much money? Oh, okay, we going to steal that formula. But guess what? By the time you start making your whole DCEU or whatever you want to do and try to copy that, like Sony tried to copy phase one, uh, DC tried to copy phase one and two. But by the time you do that, Marvel's already on phase three and they've adapted. They've changed. Marvel's like, hey, you know what? We're not going to do this like stagnant formula of trilogy 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 and then big movie trilogy trilogy then big movie that, that was like hey wait a minute now let's do a trilogy then a you know big movie then we'll do these little side movies that build up to the movies and then boom now we gonna start doing disney plus and the disney plus is gonna feed into the movie. like marvel always changes up the approach matter of fact another strategy they changed up remember when it used to be all about joss whedon that they stopped that but other companies, DC, WB, they was like, oh, Marvel gave the keys to the kingdom to Joss Whedon. Let's copy that. Here you go, Zack Snyder. How did that work out? I mean, it, it had a lot of different issues. I'm not blaming only Snyder, but I'm just saying that whole idea of 
here's the keys to the kingdom to one director, one person, ain't a good look. Marvel changed that up a long time ago, and they was like, hey, we ain't got to be relying on Joss. How about we get other voices, other directors? We're going to give them the overall vision, but let them do their thing. I don't know if Sony's that smart. I don't know. I don't know if they're able to adjust because the fact that they are so committed to this spinoff thing, I'm like, I guess spinoff villains without Spider-Man. I mean, look, I, if they throw Spider-Man in, that could be a game changer. I don't know. But man, that's a long answer for your question. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to go off on that. But uh Ooh, you think he would be the main, you'd like him to be the main villain. I don't know. I mean, Green Goblin, I think, Green Goblin is kind of like Spider-Man's Joker in a sense. Well, or is that Venom? I don't know. But he's like one of the main ones. So Craven is cool. Don't get me wrong, but he's still kind of like the side character. I don't know if he got main villain potential. I don't know. That, I have to think about that. I, I, I gotta, yeah, I gotta think about that. Um, <laughs> Sonny J, good luck with that, Sonny. Hey, I, I, <laughs> I look, I'm just they gonna try, they gonna try, they gonna try. Um, hey, Foggy is not staying involved. Foggy was like, Hey, y'all don't want to play with us no more. Cool, we're gonna give the fans what they want, we're gonna work on this movie with you. After that, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Uh, oh, Patrice. Oh, darn live kicked me out. What? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Now, let's see. Uh, one, Johnny Depp will always be my one. Johnny Depp? Really? Okay. All right. Recast the Uh, Star Wars animated series are so much better. Nothing but facts. Uh, no, I need Spider-Man. Sony don't hit, <laughs> but not letting uh, go of their cash cow now. No, and, and they won't. This Spider-Man is like their number one thing. Like, they need Spider-Man. They already announced one, and I didn't pull this up yet, but they already announced that one, they're not selling. Sony is not gonna sell, you know, because there have been all these buyouts. Amazon just bought out MGM. So James Bond, we might be seeing that on Amazon Prime video. Um, Sony said we're not selling. They said we're not going nowhere, you know, which <sighs> kind of sucks because if if Sony were to get bought out by anybody, Amazon, Netflix, uh, uh, Disney, whatever, if anybody buys Sony, the rights to Spider Man go back to Marvel. Okay, Nicole, no, okay, don't trust Sony to get it right. Here's my unpopular opinion: animated Spider Spider Man is always better than live action. Mm, I gotta think about that one. That's a that's an interesting one because I I did like the animated one for sure, but there was a lot of live action movies. I mean, Spider Man Two, Tobey Maguire. Woo. Look, I don't care. Y'all y'all want to argue? Y'all want to fight? Tobey Maguire is the best Peter Parker. Andrew Garfield, the best Spider Man. Tom Holland, good compromise. But if I had to pick, I still go with Toby. That's just me. I I know everybody got their own flavor, but I just was not a fan of Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker. My man was a little too cool, a little too smooth, and I need Peter Parker to be a straight up nerd, not a cool nerd, but a nerd nerd. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh. Uh, you can donate people. Okay. So people that I'm sorry, I forgot that this is both Facebook and YouTube. If you go to YouTube, you can donate that way. Um, you know what? Somebody else asked me this. Hold on. Let me, cause I, I don't, I don't really like asking for money or I don't want to look, you know, I don't know. It just makes me feel weird, but people have asked me. So like, what am I going to do? Tell you no. So you can do that there. If you are interested, um, if you're on Facebook and let's just say, you know, you don't have the super chat function uh, that's on YouTube, you can donate that way. Um, and yes, your donations do matter. It's what helps keep this entire channel together. Um, it's going to help me uh, 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 buy another car because my wife's car literally just broke down after I made the 
payments. It's always when you get done paying off the car. Engine goes out. Transmission goes out. So now, oh, man. And, uh, sorry. Anyway, so that's where you can make your donations. And it does help um, support this channel. So I appreciate you uh, all day, every day. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, make sure I didn't miss nobody else here. Uh, Toby was too old. Eh, it worked. That's okay. It worked for me. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Minecraft girl. The only Spider-Man I've seen are the Tom Holland ones. You better go on and get, go look. You better go on and watch that Spider-Man one and two with Toby McGuire. Don't watch three. Don't watch Spider-Man three. Do don't. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats, and if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.